Hey pals, did you know that even podcasts have websites? Come check out our website at GoWithTheHeat.com and see show notes, new RSS feeds, contact, and how you can support us. Now let's quit chumping and get on with the show. Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm Joan. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guys, the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week, we're talking about Season 3, Episode 22, titled Viking Bikers from Hell. <laughs> I like the <laughs> emphasis there. <laughs> it originally premiered on April 3rd, 1987. It is written by Walter Kurtz. Now, this is an interesting one. It's titled as Walter Kurtz. That's who wrote this, but it's actually a pseudonym. The man who wrote this name is actually John Milius. And for whatever reason, for this episode of Miami Vice, he didn't feel like putting his real name on it. I think I have an idea why. <laughs> I could come up with a couple of reasons why I would put my name on this one. <laughs> this episode feels like other ones that we've had where it's about weird Miami Vice. Yeah, it's definitely the like the weird section of Miami Vice that you don't know the underbelly, the seediness of. Yeah, and this has the same feel as uh, like nobody lives forever. It's just like. It's slightly off, as if you were to take a record and play it at a slightly different speed. Like the meat fondler. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, okay, that's just it, the name it now. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it stands out to me. It's supposed to be like a biker gang episode, but at the same time, I mean, we're talking about three bikers on, like, Kawasaki ninjas. <laughs> um, yeah, that, like, the scooter I, part. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's like the 80s version of a biker gang that's like not so much a biker gang, I guess. Well, there's only three of them. What kind of gang is that? <laughs> that that's Anyways. what I'm saying. You know, it, it could have been four, but they killed Charlie. <laughs> Poor Charlie. <laughs> I bring it up that's like this on the weird side for Vice and it's slightly off center is what it feels like for a Vice episode because it's directed by James Quinn, who also directed Lend Me an Ear. Which is another one of those episodes where it's slightly off. Like, they're talking about technology and spying and all that stuff. And they have Sonny at the end coming across his TV screens and stuff. Like, it's a little off center. Yeah, true. Spins a little mm -hmm. oblong. But you don't have <laughs> such a such a uh, livid reaction to this episode like you did to that one. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might want to go back and refresh your guys' memories and listen to Dominic's final thoughts on that one. <laughs> All right, John, when I saw the music selection on this week's episode, I was like, oh, this is Return of the Bands Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, you know how in, in the music segment, sometimes I'll say like, and we'll see this artist again. Well, this is the episode where we see them all again. <laughs> We will start off with a band I've talked about quite a few times. I think I'll even talk about them again after this. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> the, this is Maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> their song Type Rope Walk by The Damned. So The Damned is the band with the really cool band member names. You know, they had the bassist whose name was Captain Sensible. <laughs> and the drummer whose name was Rat Scabies. You know, those guys. <laughs> Uh, and I, I've probably said it before about him, but Captain Sensible actually formed his own political party in the UK. It's called the Blah Party. <laughs> Quite sensible. Uh, the party was a was a way for British citizens to bitch about things in their daily lives. You know, it was like a party made up for that, like a parody of a party. But they actually did run campaigns and like try and get elected and stuff. They were even sponsored by Seabrook Crisps. So, and if you don't know Seabrook Crisp, they are a delicious snack. Um, <laughs> you have to, they're mostly sold in northern UK, but you can get a mail order too. They, they've got to have a website out there somewhere. So try some Seabrook Crisps. <laughs> <laughs> not an ad. So, uh, not, now, not a real ad. They're not giving us any money. We will take your money if you, or free chips if you want to send them to us. We prefer the free yes, chips. Yes. <laughs> yes, please, please send us the chips. So, uh, in 2008, though, Blah Party would uh, disconnect with their sponsors, including Seabrook Crisps. <laughs> and they would determine that they were going to become a protest group from then on forward. Makes no sense, but I mean, why would you give up free crackers? <laughs> and then the drummer of The Damned, Rat Scabies, he's the guy who is also the central character of a book called Rat Scabies and the Holy Grail 
by Christopher Dawes. He wrote the book in 2005, and the book is basically like a gonzo-esque quest, quest to find Holy Grail. And it's about author meets Rat Scabies as he moves in next to him. And they go on, like, rock star adventures. So, um, I don't know, maybe put it on your winter I- reading list. I'm down for some of the, the damned fan fiction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, all right. So let's get on to some more music we've already talked about. We have Heaven by Simply Red. To refresh your memory, Simply Red, a bunch of gingers from the UK. So they just, now that you caught just up. in our episode last week, right? Yeah, dude. They're like just in the music. Mick Hucknell, the lead singer, who also the only uh, member pretty much left in the band, he co-owns Ask Property Development, uh, and they construct city squares and public buildings. So if you're looking to have a city square built in your backyard, contact them. (laughs) He also likes to spend time in Catonia, Sicily, where he makes a wine under the label Il Cantante, which I guess translates into the singer. So, by the way, Simply Red has had 27 members, uh, different members since 1985. We're just going to stick with the one we know. <laughs> Another one we might you might remember, George Thurgood and the, the Destroyers. We get their song, Who Do You Love? Which isn't even really their song. It's Originally, it's a Bo Diddley song. It was recorded in 1956. He wrote it when he was in Kansas City uh, after hearing a group of, of kids basically trying to like brag each other. It ended up on George Thurgood's second album, Move It On Over. And in 1985, he actually got to perform it with Bo Diddley at Live Aid. That had to be pretty cool. Last but not least, uh, we have Valhalla by Chris Barr, which actually isn't by Chris Barr. So <laughs> I, I, I went looking for it. Now, by the way, Valhalla was recorded exclusively for Vice. It never appeared on any album or was released as any kind of single. So I'm trying to figure out, who is Chris Barr? What happened to Chris Barr? And then I find IMBD has it credited as being written and performed by Rick Conrad. Rick Conrad. I actually was able to find some stuff on him. He is a composer, producer, location manager, including some other positions. He composed such fabulous TV movies as Amityville, The Evil Escapes, in 1989 he also composed the watchers 2 in 1990 his most recent being the fantastics highly acclaimed cloned the recreator chronicles in 2012 (laughs) uh, which is about a group of teens who stumble upon a secret lab and battle superior clones of themselves He's also done commercial work for, like, Nissan and NASA, which, I mean, I, I didn't know NASA ran commercials. I haven't seen a NASA commercial ever. <laughs> and there you go. There's your music, guys. Even though, basically, every song in this music segment was from a band we had heard you talk about before, there's always something new. <laughs> <laughs> that it wasn't their song. Exactly. <laughs> I had a feeling like you were, you've were you been holding out on us, John. There's more information you could be giving us. You're hiding <laughs> stuff on purpose from us. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We would love, 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 love to hear from you. Email us, heat at gmail.com or tweet at us at Go With The Heat. You want to find other ways to contact us? Go to that website, GoWithTheHeat.com. Click on About Us. Click on contact us. Click on subscribe. You can find all the information you would ever need. Our elongated, very detailed show notes are on that website. All of the ways to contact us and including a new tab, which are the ways that you can support us. Now, we would love your support. We'd love for you to go to your podcast catcher of choice and give us a review. Two thumbs up, five stars, four avocados, whatever the <laughs> whatever the ranking system is. Four avocados. For your, <laughs> for your podcast, your choice. We'd love to get a review from you. Now, the way to support us would be to send us an email. Contact us. Go with the heat at gmail.com. And you know what? If you want to bring a little extra value to the show, I encourage you to go read that support page on our website at GoWithTheHeat.com and find out what some of our future thoughts are about what we want to do with this show. Surprise, Miami Vice only has five seasons. <laughs> I, in case Shock. you didn't know it, Miami Vice only has five seasons. And at the pace <laughs> we're going, this time next year, we will be finishing Miami Vice. I know a year seems like it's really far away, but you know what? It's time for us to start talking about 
What's next? Your pals here at Go With The Heat are not done podcasting when Miami Vice is over. We have to decide what show we want to do. And you know what? We have a whole bunch of other shows we would love to do. Some of that's going to take some feedback from our fans. So we would love to hear from you. Email us, go with the heat at gmail.com and go check out that support page. That's something that we just added. That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, pals.